Max Frisch is the playwright of Biedermann und der Brandschifter. Born May 15th, 1911 in Zurich, Switzerland. He was the youngest of three children. His father was an architect. He was described as having a very cold relationship with his father, but a very warm and loving relationship with his mother. In 1927, at the age of 16, he wrote his first play, Stahl, and sent it to the famous Austrian theater director, Max Reinhardt, and supposedly nothing came out of that. In 1931, Frisch enrolled in the University of Zurich to study German literature. Uh, however, in 1933, Frisch dropped out um, to financially support his mother after his father's sudden death. He began working as a freelance journalist. Uh, he didn't cover very interesting stories, mostly sports games, but he did get to travel a lot. The next year, he published his first novel, Jürgen Reinhardt. Uh, in 1936, he abandons journalism to pursue a career in architecture, which he would successfully continue up until 1950. The next year, frustrated by his lack of critical acclaim, Frisch vows to never write again. In 1939, Frisch served in the Swiss, Swiss Army and subsequently resumes his writing career. In 1942, he marries his first wife, Constance von Meyenberg. In 1944, he published his first majorly successful play, Santa Cruz, but it wasn't performed until 1946. Uh, Frisch has a really interesting account of his interactions with Bertolt Brecht in uh, Sketchbook 1966 through 1971. Uh, and here are some points he made about Brecht. First, he talks about the first time he ever met Brecht, which was in November 1947 in Zurich. Um, he saw him at a party and knew who he was, was kind of starstruck, but uh, struck up a conversation with him. And in this conversation, uh, Frisch mentions um, how he's visited Germany and the destruction of Berlin after the war. And so at the end of their conversation, uh, Breck says to him, maybe you too will one day find yourself in the interesting situation of hearing someone tell you about your native country and listening as if you were being told about someplace in Africa. Frisch described Brecht as quite reserved around most people. He would occasionally give amusing anecdotes, but ultimately uh, restricted himself from talking about raw ideas too early. Um, he also said that Brecht hated praise of his work. Brecht claimed that it was a substitute for understanding, uh, which isn't very surprising. When speaking of other people applying uh, Brecht's ideas, uh, Frisch said, that is the danger of, for Brechtians. They refine the treatment, but they lack the genius to make it work. Ouch. Uh, Frisch was uh, with Brecht in August 1948 when he visited Germany for the first time in his 15-year uh, exile. And they, they were going to see a play. Uh, as... A final remark on Brecht, Frisch used a quote uh, that was originally spoken by Maxim Gorky talking about Leo Tolstoy, and it's this. Uh, in spite of the one-sidedness of his teachings, this legendary being had an infinite variety of aspects. In 1948, Frisch penned the first version of Biedermann. It was a six-page fable called Burlesque. In this, Frisch uh, makes the audience the main character when describing the action taking place and here's a passage from it one morning a man comes to your house a stranger and you cannot help yourself you give him a bowl of soup and some bread for the injustice he has suffered according to his own account cannot be dismissed uh denied and you don't wish him to take it out on you and there is no doubt the man says that he will one day have his revenge. You agree with him. For if you did not, you would have to admit, more or less, that you are being unjust yourself. You wish to have the feelings of being an, a good and upright person. 
1951, he spent several months in the U.S. and Mexico on a Rockefeller grant, and two years later, in 1953, uh, Biederman first came out as a radio play. That same year, uh, Frisch separated from Meinberg, though they didn't divorce until 1959. For the rest of his life, Frisch would have many affairs and marriages, typically with um, women decades younger than himself. In 1958, Biederman was performed finally as a stage play in the Zurich uh, Schlappenspiel House Theater um, under the direction of Oscar Walterlin. It was a major success, winning him three awards in Switzerland. The play was later staged in Germany and included a prologue specifically for German audiences. In the late 1950s, he begins living in Rome for some time. There, he writes his second most famous play, Andorra, in 1961. In the show, the main character suffers uh, because he is accused of being a Jew. In 1965, Frisch returns to Switzerland. He also wins the Man's Freedom Prize of the city of Jerusalem. For several decades, uh, Frisch traveled all around the world observing different ways of life. Frisch wrote more plays and novels, many containing his reoccurring themes of responsibility, guilt, and weakness in action. On April 4th, 1991, Frisch died of cancer in Zurich. And that's Max Frisch.